students this is the fourth part on the chapter locomotion and movement and in this part we are going to discuss about the human skeletal system the most important part of this complete chapter the human skeletal so let's have a look into this complete skeletal system of human beings locomotion and movement now we are going to discuss about the human skeletal system skeletal system the hardened tissues of the body together form the skeleton sclero means hard skeleton the term skeleton has evolved from sclero sclero means hard organisms will remain small and slow moving like this this much small and slow moving if there had been no skeleton for support and to serve as levers on which muscles can act have you ever imagined how our body will appear if we are not having any skeleton do you want me to show you that yes okay i'm showing it look into the screen yes like this <laughs> you can see this is v without skeleton okay this is how we are going to look when we have no skeleton now comes a video through which i am going to explain you about some uh, details of the human skeletal system so let's begin the skeletal system includes all the bones of the body these and the joints where they attach to each other our skeleton protects our internal organs provides a framework for movement for performing various activities okay they store minerals they produce uh, blood cells you can see they are storing minerals they are producing blood cells our muscles pulling uh, this way or that way all our bones uh, produce movement and without the protection of our skeleton even a simple bump on our head or our chest is going to affect the internal organs seriously the bones of skeletal system are stronger than steel okay 